In this video, we're going to show you how to do an alternative maintenance check-in procedure on a GE-4000 patient monitor utilizing Biomedical ESA 615. Please note, this is not a standard PM procedure taken out of the manual. This is something we just built and made up just to show you some of the highlights of the Fluke Biomedical system. So now we can roll right into our electrical safety test. So you'll see, so silence that so we can hear better. In our electrical safety test, here's what we're going to do. We're going to follow an FP99, and here is the setup for it. So let me go ahead and we'll move my ECG leads. Up to my safety analyzer. All right. Now, I'm going to leave this here for a second because I have to zero out my leads. So, there's my setup. So, I know exactly how to set up for my test, my ECG leads, and I'm going to take my red alligator clip back to here. But I know from running this a few times, I have to zero out my leads first. So, let's go ahead and we'll move down to this electrical safety, and we're going to push run component here. Now, it wants me to connect it to my null post, so follow my instructions. We're already connected. We'll zero that out. Now we're going to connect this to that test point that we showed in the prior instructions. All right, and we're going to continue. And again, this might not be the way you do electrical safety. This is just an example. And you see it automatically generated a resistance. Push run on the next one. Continue. Again, I'm not pushing any buttons on electrical safety analyzer. I'm not adjusting anything. I'm simply hitting run and make sure it's powered on. All the results are automatically populated. We have passes there. We're going to move down to the next to the applied parts test. And here's how to set it up. Here's the diagram. And here's a picture. So we'll follow, make sure we have the picture set up. Yep, we're connected over there. And let's go ahead and we'll start this test. Look at this. All this data is automatically populated. So a lot of people make the argument about why well, we don't want to do electrical safety anymore. It takes too long. I'm not doing anything. The system is recording all these results for me already automatically. So why not? No special notes. And we'll put a PM sticker on it. That's our last green checkbox over here. At the bottom, we have a green light, which means the PM procedure has been completed. We'll click Done. And this is going to go ahead and save it over to our reports. From here, this is our results. We can make different forms of a report. We can do a modified report. We can do the all report, all the data. Here's our test. We just passed it. So we can modify these reports and what data you want to come over to your PC. So you see in this example, it has all the data included into this, but we can also get rid of a lot of these fields that you don't want to bring brought over, like the pictures and stuff, and simply import this back into your CMMS platform or attach it as a PDF. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you in our next video.